<laughs> oh, yo, what up? What's up, boys? How's it going? Yo, yo, yo. What up? What up? What up? Trans rights. Hell yeah, baby trees. Thank you. <laughs> I will say, bro. It Trans community really going through it. That all you got to say is trans rights and then they hail you as some trans king. <laughs> you can expect more from people. Yeah. You don't got to be scraping the bottom of the barrel that hard. Bar is low, man. It's low. Yeah. What's up, boys? How's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back. short stream today title i didn't want to think of one so i just didn't and that's pretty much it hello hello holy shit a lot of first time chatters thought lud was wearing a crop top because the pink that's not, that's a crop bottom. Okay, wait, guys, when you got the notification, did it have fancy text? Because I wrote motherfucker fancy text. Did it just show up like aggressive, normal San Francisco font, like motherfucker? Or did it show up fancy? It showed up fancy? That's kind of cool then. All right, hey, we like that. Boys, are you ready? It's time. Hey. I've already been hit up from like 17 different Mariah Carey lawyers trying to take down a very mogul Christmas because they're scared. Rumors have it that the Mariah bump this year, gone. Replaced by the Ludwig bump. All I'm saying, look at this. Look at this. 7 a.m. today, 287 views. Yesterday, 18 views an hour. Today, 50. All right? The bump is starting. The bump is starting. That's not called, that's not what they call my beer belly. Cutie does not have a bump. No. What's my most popular one on this album? I don't even know. Hold up, I'm checking. I'm checking. The most popular song in the album? 300k? 130k? 400? Holy shit. Oh, it seems like it's easily last Christmas. All right, I'm checking. I'm checking. How many views is last Christmas getting now that Christmas music is legal to play? Oh, look at the bump. Holy shit. Look at this. You might think that's small, but compared to 48 hours ago, it was getting 10. It's getting three times the views. Oh, we're getting there. That's a noticeable bump. Ugh. What's up, boys? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, I did summon you. Hello. It's not legal until after Thanksgiving. 
no, wait, you're so allowed to listen to Christmas music November 1st. If not, what are you listening to on Thanksgiving Day? There's literally no Thanksgiving songs. What's a Thanksgiving song? You're my man's. Just regular ass Thanksgiving song. I'm going to look up Thanksgiving song. This is actually the second option that came up. And it's fucking Jack's Films. If I wanted to watch Jack's Films, i just look at Sears old videos. This is like Bo Burnham if there was no deeper meaning behind it. Yeah, you know, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Maybe some church music. Is Thanksgiving religious? I guess all things are religious in the States, right? Is that crazy? I don't know. Anyway, what's up, boys? How's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hope everyone had a good day. I just recorded what I think might be my greatest YouTube video ever. I'm not going to leak anything, but I think it's the greatest YouTube video ever. Well, okay, here's the question. What do you think my greatest YouTube video right now is? It'll probably come out tomorrow or Wednesday. It's no, don't say salty ice climber moments. You guys are being dicks. There's no universe my greatest video is so... No, you guys are being dicks. No, 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 no. This is not my greatest video. I'm sorry, it's not. I'm sorry, that's wrong, that's incorrect. I think that's rude, <laughs> disrespectful. Damn, Mogul Money's my third most viewed video already? I should just put Jay Schlatt in every video title. Holy shit, that's insane. You know what else is crazy? Apparently, a lot of people have Twitch Primes and they're not using them on cooldown. What the heck? Yeah, apparently all you gotta do is click on a channel you really, really like, click the subscribe button, scroll down, see if it says subscribe free in a little checkbox, hit the subscribe free button, <laughs> look at him run in. I'll say it, XQC's cute. He's cute, man. Hit the checkbox, hit the subscribe free button, purple boys. Every time you hit subscribe free, I will stream one more day. Which means I'll probably stream like 800 more weeks because I stream once a week. Yo! Are you guys, are you guys, are you guys mad at me because I never stream anymore? Because I've fallen off of a streamer who streams maybe 13 hours a, a, a week. How many hours have I streamed in the past month? Let's check. Ludwig. Ludwig, Ludwig, Ludwig. Past 30 days, I have streamed 71 hours. That's so bad. The past week, I've streamed 27 hours, though. That's not that bad. Wait, 27 hours a week's not bad. That's like 100, like 10 hours a month. That's pretty good. It's literally my lowest since 2020 in the past two years. Since I went full time, I think. But I'm going to start picking it up. I think I decided. Oh, nice food. PogChamp. I think I decided what I want to do is continue daily uploads on the main channel. Because to be honest, I have no fucking clue what else to do. And I just get confused. And I understand daily. <laughs> I know I spent all that time being like, I don't know if I'm going to do daily. But I, I like daily on the main channel. Two videos a week on the advice channel. Still one podcast a week on the yard. I would also like to do weekly sketches on the yard. You made a whole video about it. Yeah, I also made a video saying this is how much I made during the subathon and lied. I made double. All right, you know, I'm constantly just throwing out shit. I'm just saying things out loud. <laughs> YouTube video revenue down. It doesn't even matter what my YouTube revenue is because at the end of the day, Shake Drizzle literally takes it all. I swear to God, Shake Drizzle makes more than me. And all he does is edit like three things, fuck up the edits, and then do heroin. <laughs> That's all he does. Ms. Kip wants to sing a Christmas song with you? Get in line, bro. I got Carl Jacobs to worry about. You kidding me? 
The man who slayed Joe Rogan? Can't be fucking around with Mizzy Wizzy. Thank you for the subs, by the way, boys. Joshua, thank you. Item obtained. Rotten Jacks. Bebat. Also, Mizkiff saying he wants to do a Christmas song with me is just saying he wants to do a Christmas song, but none of the work. That's what all streamers are like. Hey, I want to do a cool project that doesn't require me to do anything at all. <laughs> I was in the room with Mizkiff and Pokimane with Pokey trying to make the Mizzy Wizzy Pokey Doki podcast happen. And my God, was she pulling hairs to make that. It was insane. She was like 10 a.m. And he was like, oh, Pokey, do we have to do 10 a.m.? It's like, this is going to be like a huge stream. I don't, I don't get it, man. Thank you, Crandall, for the one year. Christ. No, that's not your name. Christ for the 14 months. Monkey Fanaric, thank you, the Prime. Beck, thank you, the one year. Luke Attacular, thank you, nine months. Condor, thank you, the 13 months. How do you like the new keyboard? Nico, it's dope. It's not the one I'm using here. I'm still using my Transpride keyboard, which is cool, and PogChamp. Ow, my wrist. You guys want to see my ankles? I'll show you my ankles. I went to the dock. I think I think I'm all good. I went to the dock. Everything seemed pretty chill, which is good. But anyway, here's here's my ankle. Uh, oh shit! Five gifted from Steve Pingus. Steve, thanks for for twenty five bucks. All right, hey, don't lower my wiki feet rating, just because I'm having a bad week. Thank you, Den Brother, for the five. Can you even see it anymore? They kind of got better. This is the bad one, though. You can. It just looks like a cankle now. That's it. It looks like a giant cankle. Where this one's like a defined oh, yes. human ankle. Oh, look at this. This is like a video. As you can see, this is a normal ankle. After suffering... A level two tear to the mitochondrial ligament. This is what the ankle currently looks like. Oh, fuck. <sighs> anyway, that's where I'm at. I think it's pretty good. I, I was going to go rock climbing today on it. It feels pretty good. Like, I can jump on it. It hurts a little bit, though. I do need to water my plants. I went to urgent care, and they x-rayed it, and then the x-ray showed no broken bones, but I sprained it, and he said, you got to move the ankle around, because if you, like, sprain something and then don't move it, it'll heal bad, and then you won't have as good a mobility or something. I don't really know. Not even close to Hungry Box's vertical. Okay, dude. Don't really gotta do me like that. You haven't streamed enough for us to remind you to water your plants. I, am I literally that washed that you guys think I'm not even a streamer anymore? How many hours do I have to stream a month? 71's not that low. Okay, what's the ideal amount of hours streamed? Like if I just do like a classy three hours every day in a month. So, like, every single day I'm live for three hours, that's 90 hours a month. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really... Three hours every day is, like, a lot. That's only 90 hours a month. You're my mans. 40 hours a week? No shot. I think four hours a day and then taking one day off is, like, the dream scenario. So, like, I stream four hours Monday through Saturday, and then I take Sundays off for, like, you know, health and to do other shit. And then, and that's pretty good, you know, because that's, like, pretty consistent six days a week. That seems pretty good to me. I think that's the dream schedule. Four hours a day, six days a week. That ends up with, like, what? I don't know the math. I can't do the math. I'm, just, I'm, I'm pretending to do math in my head, but I don't even know. 24 hours a week times 4, 80, 96. 96 hours. Holy shit. It's like 96 to 100 hours a month. That's pretty good. That's pretty that's pretty good. 
But plus the yard, plus the YouTube advice channel, plus the main YouTube channel, maybe weekly sketches. I want to do more stuff like Mogul Money that's not a game show. I feel like every streamer now, when they're like, hey, let's do a high quality stream, they're imme they immediately go like, game show. Or you have 120,000 viewers and you're using a Blue Yeti and a C920. Celebrity crush was, uh... What's this, what's this girl from... <laughs> he still has the goddamn green screen filter on. Do you guys notice that? Like this shimmer effect is because he has the green screen filter on because he usually uses a green screen when he streams. That's insane! That's crazy! To have this many viewers and fuck that up! That is two clicks! It's two! They got clout. I actually don't care. I don't even care at all. I actually think it's cool that they have that many viewers, and I'm on board with it. I don't even want those amount of views. I prefer a smaller, more tight-knit community. Your sweater is very pog. Thanks, cutie got it for me. Hey! Alex, thank you the five gifted subs. I appreciate that. That's cool, man. Holy shit. Ultra J, 10 months. Is the new Mogul Money coming on YouTube today? Yeah, I'm going to upload it the moment this stream ends. I'm going to end the stream in 90 minutes. There's a 90-minute timer on this stream because at 7.30, I'm going to go record the yard. The yarn. And the only reason I didn't stream longer today, by the way, is because I recorded what I think is the greatest YouTube video ever on my channel. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I think it's the greatest YouTube video um, ever. I'm not going to leak a single thing about the video. I will say, though, just to give you a little bit of a teaser for it, my the video that I currently think is the best on my channel um, is yeah. Ludwig. This is the video that I think is currently the greatest video I've ever made. I made money by donating to Twitch streamers. I think that's the greatest video I've made. It's like a sick concept. It, it, it was successful. Like, I think that's dope. So that's the greatest video. I think it's the best. Personally. I just think it's sick. It's so original. You know, like, you laugh, you lose are funny. But, like, everyone does it laugh and then lose. Everybody watches TikTok time. I fucking called it, dude. Check my logs. I have said it before, Pasta. I believe you. Hey, I believe you, Pasta. Pasta always been a day one. Do you ever see the Z-Vent? I did see the Z-Vent that raised 10 mil. Literally what video? Literally this video. I made money by donating to streamers. It's the greatest video I've ever made. All right. I just had an amazing idea. And it was pretty much an ad for merch, which is kind of funny. But anyway, I think that's the best video I've made. It's somewhat similar to that, I guess, in a way. Not really, but you'll see it. It'll come out tomorrow or maybe Wednesday. It's not making more money. That's not what it is. Am I, am me and Mango still beefing? Uh, it depends if he's sold something from my house. What is my stream title? I didn't know what to call it, man. Will you do a part two of Salty Ice Climber Moments? I did. I literally did. Didn't I? Ludwig, Salty, Smash. I mean, it wasn't Ice Climber Moments. I uploaded top 10 Salty Moments in Smash, and it has 600k views, which is actually pretty good for me. Raid Sans? No fucking shot. I'm mad at Sans. Sans didn't come over to my Halloween party yesterday. I know. I know. I dressed up as a cute Dalmatian. I skipped a bunch of stream opportunities, aka Saikuno asked me to hang out, and I said no, and then I sent him a picture of myself, and then he sent me the nicest DM I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit, I got butterflies. When Saikuno says your hair is great, you've done something right. Alex, thank you to 25 gifted. What the fuck, man? Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm going to donate to smaller streamers so they can afford better setups. I appreciate you giving me money. I'm going to pass it forward. Good luck, Quackity. All right, anyway. Sweetest DM I've ever seen in my life. To be parasocial, why weren't we invited? I didn't think you guys would have good costumes. Did you see Ray C's costume? No, I didn't. I imagine it was something dope, though. Ray seems like an all-out type of guy. I actually personally hate Ray. <laughs> Oh my god, he's beautiful. 
I'll never say this to Ray's face, but I hate him because he's so nice. And my entire shtick is trying to be mean to influencers because all the people in that space are so nice to each other. But he just always beats me with kindness. He kills me with kindness. I can't be mean to him. It's so hard to be mean to someone, who, to someone who's just incessantly nice. He'll like compliment me too. It's like, oh my God. It's not a stain on my shirt. It's literally a design. You guys are being so dumb. Anyway, boys, hey, thanks for all the subs. I appreciate it. Odin, 24 months. Spangalard, thank you, the Prime. Very cool, very pog, very champ. Am I working on new merch? Yeah, it probably won't come out till January. I was going to try to release it Q4, a.k.a. before the end of the year, but there's a chance some people won't get it before Christmas, and I don't want, like, some people to get it before Christmas and some people to get it after Christmas. You know what I mean? So we're going to do it, like, early 2022 instead. It's not Christmas. Have you heard of Ema? What? No. You gave me 30 subs, so if you're going to get me with the D's Nuts joke, it's, you know, I'll take the hit. I'll take a $150 for D's Nuts joke. What? I've, I have not heard of Ema, Alex. What is Ema? Where the fuck is it? Ema ass. <laughs> Good one, man. <laughs> you fucking boomed me. Sometimes I think you guys are like lacking comedically in that, you know, I'm I'm hanging out with a bunch of zoomers who don't understand comedy on a deeper level. And that we're just rehashing jokes we've been doing for years now, but now I know for sure, not the case. Bunch of grade A comedians. What's on your shirt? It's literally the shirt design. You guys are being hurtful. Anyway, boys, we're going to watch Unusual Memes. Uh, I want to watch Unusual Memes. There's a Salty Smash or FGC compilation video that I kind of want to watch. Dakota Ford, thank you the five gifted subs. And then there's a funny thread about communism and speedrunning that I thought it'd be kind of funny to chat about for a few minutes. Uh, just because I saw a meme about it on TikTok. And it was so funny. So I might bing, bang, boom all three of those. It's an insane thread, and I haven't read it all the way through yet. Yeah, it's the Sonic one. Is there a full Sonic video? Because I just saw the TikTok one. The Laugh Track stream? We'll probably do it this week. So plans for this week is uh, Laugh Track stream... Guaranteed. Game Jam stream. Guaranteed. We're going to also do a 1v1 versus Northern Lion this week. Guaranteed. Bro versus Bro is back. And that's the main... That's the main meat. The main... The main meal of this week. And in the next month... Coming in the end of the year, there's going to be a lot more Melee, too. Because I think we're going to co-stream Smash Summit again. Probably Main Stage again. And then probably Smash World Tour. So if you're a Melee head, hell yeah. If you're not, start becoming one, maybe? I don't know. Imagine. Mario Party with Mizkiff. I want to do more Mario Party. Actually, oh, guarantee this week Mario Party with Clint, Connor, and Mango. It would be Clint. Well, Connor needs to be in it. Clint is obviously a get. Uh, and I don't want to ditch Mango for Miz. Because uh, me and Mango already barely talk. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. But we'll probably do some Mario Party this week too. This is all happening. Tim, I literally followed through last week and did everything I said I would. I did everything I said I would. Look at the most recent comment on your Christmas song last year. Foolish Games commented. Wait, Foolish Games commented on my Christmas song? Wait. Who the fuck is wow. that? Gang, 
Oh, wait, they did. The countdown of Christmas begins now, and then it says, hello, Foolish Enjoyers. Foolish is live stream. Wait, Foolish is the guy who is on Hive Mind, who's the Dream SMP guy who, who, who builds fast? Yeah, Foolish is cool. Yeah, 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 the build guy. Damn, I, I who megal all them. <laughs> didn't you say we're, you're going to Austin? Yeah, I didn't end up going to Austin if you guys didn't notice. We talked about it a bit yesterday. The main reason was because I hate animals and Maya. Boys! Today! Alright, let's watch some TikToks. Boys! It's... It, it's... It's, 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 bip, 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 it's. <gasps> Speaking of nothing related to TikTok in any way, shape, or form, did you guys see the rug pull? The insane scam, huge, cringy scam. Real quick, this is the craziest, one of the craziest things that's come from crypto. So obviously crypto is a giant environment full of scams and then people entering the environment thinking that, oh, I'm not going to be the guy who gets scammed. I'm going to get money. The dumb people are going to get scammed, but I'll just sell before the dumb people. And then they end up maybe being the dumb people. Great of fool theory. All right. We know this. We've taken economics 101 or watched one marketing Monday. All right. We're experts now. Anyway, uh, one of uh, uh, the most recent happenstances of this was a, a crypto coin called Squid Game. And it had a market cap, right? The entire value of all the coins of $2.2 trillion. And I think it got up to $2.5 trillion. For some context, the largest company in the world is not worth $2.5 trillion. The most valuable coin is uh, Ethereum. And that's, I think... Under a trillion. I think it's about 600 billion. Or maybe it's 1.5 trillion. Something like that. So, you know, pretty pretty crazy. You know, pretty crazy that that's the case. The most valuable company right now, Microsoft with 2.47 trillion. And somehow Squid Coin ended up beating it. Bitcoin's the biggest. I'm going to call cap. Unless it's just not listed. You guys might be right, though. I don't know. Anyway, here's the top 10. Barely any companies in the trillion category facebook dropped get owned stupid facebook aka meta uh but this company or this coin hit it just the and so a bunch of people were invested into the coin total amount of coins that are locked staked whatever the fuck's going on that would be the the uh the fully uh but obviously the real one is not so the market cap is 2.1 Six eight trillion dollars. Third biggest in the and world. And now the market. Oh, oh! It went to zero. Look at the market cap. It went from two point one trillion to five hundred and twelve thousand dollars in literally an instant. Oh. Which is insane. That's insane. That's like the biggest scam I can think of in crypto. I mean, that happens all the time on a micro scale with NFTs and stuff like that and other crypto coins. But that's fucking crazy. Why? Because a bunch of people who created the coin probably created it with like 18 different alt accounts on a VPN through their mother's router. And then when the coin got really big, really juicy, and some people bought into it, they sold all their coins they sold everything they had they made millions of dollars nobody else could sell in that time period and then it completely dropped because there's way too many coins available and no one to buy them is that legal no the thing is right now the crypto space is totally unregulated it's kind of like vaping was when I worked as the head of marketing at a vaping company, va vaping uh, regulations had just started kicking in. Because it has to, like, laws have to pass, right? Like, laws have to pass to get regulation for these kinds of things. 
But like the way that think of a company like Juul. Why is Juul the biggest vaping company in the world? Do you think it's because they did like a lot of, you know, advertiser stuff that, that followed like good guidelines that smoking companies did? No. All they did is they did everything that cigarette companies did like 70 years ago. They lied incessantly throughout all their ads. They went out to school campuses and they literally gave away free jewels. That way people would get addicted to nicotine and then they'd want to re-up. They had a bunch of marketing that was basically saying like, yeah, hop on jewel and you will basically be able to quit smoking. This is healthier than smoking. If you are a smoker, you should just jewel. And that doesn't turn out to be true, by the way. Studies have shown that, like, vaping does not help you quit. Apparently, vaping, like, increases your nicotine concentration a lot. So you end up inhaling more nicotine. Uh, and you, you, have a, you have a deeper addiction to nicotine. Because jewels have a, an insanely high level of nicotine in them. Because cigarettes have a filter. There's no filter on a jewel. It's like 50 milligrams. It's fucking crazy. So they just did all this shit. And then, like, the government figured out about it because a lot of mothers found their kids with it and then they got upset and they went to school boards and school boards went to the laws and stuff like that. And then after, they, like, retroactively changed their marketing. So if you look at Jewel ads nowadays, like, they deleted all their social media. They used to have, be, like, popping on Instagram. They used to post, like, a bunch of college kids vaping. Now they got rid of all that shit and they just do, like, videos on, like, vapors telling their own experiences with it, if anything. But really what they do is they just sit in a shelf on a gas station and make money. Anyway, the same thing's happening in the crypto. Zero regulations, zero laws. Everyone's just breaking the law constantly because the law hasn't been made yet to get them in trouble. They stood, they could still retroactively get punished, but most people won't. It's just kind of wild west. It's basically like the artifact section on Twitch. <laughs> Where anything can happen in it and nothing will stop you from going fucking nuts. And when the law strikes down, you won't be able to do it anymore. But until then, scam away. Which is what everybody's doing. Scamming away. So anyway, hey, the, the real more of the story is, you know, hey, don't think you're smarter than the average person in that you're going to be able to scam. Because the best case scenario is you're making money unethically. Although, I don't know. It's hard to make money ethically. I don't fucking know, man. Just don't, don't, don't buy dumb coins. Please. You know? Don't buy, don't buy Safe Moon. Don't buy Cummy Coin. Don't buy, don't buy Soak Coin. Hoping to make a thousand bucks. You know? Sponsored by Mormon Church. Soak Coin. Dude, I'm going to sell it before it crashes. <sighs> no, no, don't hop on the Shiba train. I mean, no, the thing is, all this stuff invalidates crypto as a whole, but I think there's really valid cryptocurrencies. Look, I'm all in on the Ethereum train. Choo-choo! If you bought Ethereum a year ago, it would have gone up a thousand percent, and I think it's much more solid of a holding than a shitty coin that's using Ethereum. I did see Elon Musk crashed uh, Shiba. <laughs> yeah, someone like tweeted at him. They were like, do you have Shiba? And he's like, no fucking shot. And then it crashed like 20%. But it went up right after anyway. Uh, anyway, speaking of gambling, <laughs> Lamau, do you guys see Train's tweet? EA just told Nick Merckx, I can't play in this EA-sponsored Apex tournament because of my gambling streams. And then Train followed up and said, hey, at EA, you corrupt shady fucks. The real gamble was done by you when you paid me 150K for four hours of Apex. <laughs> a game no one f gives a fuck about me playing. I'll sponsor Nick's tourney for double what you offer, you virtual signaling FIFA pack gambling fucks. Which is a funny reply. <laughs> but also, like, he had to expect this, right? There's not a single human on earth who did not see this coming. XQC and Mizkiff are not brand safe. A lot of brands will refuse to work with them. A lot of brands refuse to work with me. I've heard this. Like some huge blue chip brands refuse to work with me because they find me to be too much of a brand risk because I've done things in the pod, uh, in the past, whatever, the podcast, what, whatever it is. What brands? Uh, I don't remember exactly. It was... 
like, uh, I think it was like Verizon. Verizon was like, eh, we don't really know about that guy. You know, like, a, like the real blue chip, like, goody goody. You know, and they only want like the absolute clean of clean people to have. You know? So that that's like, you know, it's just an example of a company that won't work with me. The amount of people who won't work with Train at this point, like for me, we are having a conversation of these are the people who will work with you. These few don't. With Train, it's like, these people all don't want to work with you. These few might. <laughs> There's no turning back now. You can't do gambling for six months, then turn around and then have some guy whose job it is to spend a quarter mil before the end of the year try to convince his boss that Trainwreck TV is the right guy for the job. They're scared they're going to get fired. They don't want to put as much money as it costs for Trainwreck to pump something they got going on. It's not worth it. It's way easier to just say, ah, uh, you know what? What if we just get someone else who's a little safer? <laughs> It'll make my life easier. That's pretty much all it comes down to. But anyway, I feel like this was expected to happen. I mean, at the end of the day, fuck EA. EA is... But like... The people who are in charge of finding influencers to pay for the event are not the same people at EA who are creating like microtransactions. Like I understand like... Oh, EA as a corporation is so corrupt and shilly. It's just true. But like the five dudes at the marketing department who are trying to find the agency that's going to connect them with streamers are, are like just random people, you know, making their bread, just trying to figure it out. I don't think they care that much. I don't think they're that involved on it. Anyway, I feel like it should be kind of expected. I feel like it'll be train will be hard pressed to find advertisers nowadays, but he doesn't really need them. He's rich as shit. So who cares? He's probably the richest streamer. Um, well, no, that's not true, but he's probably like top five or 10, eh, maybe top 10. I feel like he's probably top 10. I mean, it's still like Ninja. Tifu, Shroud, like those people got insane, insane deals. But he makes a shit ton from his sponsor, I'm pretty sure. Am I top 10? No, probably not. The thing is, I've talked to a bunch of other streamers. I don't think you guys realize, I spend almost all of my money back into like streaming content and business stuff. So I'm not, I don't have that much cash. I got a lot of money, but I just kind of spend it immediately <laughs> on a bunch of shit. Gang, 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 gang. You guys are capping, but you have to understand, I think I have like 10 employees. Do you know how much it costs annually to pay for 10 employees? I pay them good too. Not a night goes by where I don't, in my bed, think, ah, maybe I just fire Shake Drizzle and hire someone for a third. <laughs> Let me just fire Shake and pay someone $400 a video, call it a day. <laughs> hire, like, three more people in his place. Uh, I, I, I've spent, I spent a probably just, not, not including the merch company, right? Not including the merch company at all. I spent more than a million dollars. I've... Like, just this year, like, January to now, I've spent more than a million dollars on the, on streaming stuff. On overhead, as they call it. You know? Like, salaries, like, content stuff, charity stuff. All that. So, it all, that's where most of it goes. On dumb shit, like a Jackie Chan statue... That's part, that's like a business overhead thing. You're my mans. I mean, I'm still fine. My mind is like, if you have enough money to go the rest of your life, like you don't need more. I feel like there's like, if you had like a million bucks and then you had that and you just like invested it, you're probably fine for the rest of your life. I guess 10 million's cooler, but like whatever. You're my mans. A million's still fine. 
and then just spend the rest. Mr. Beast is kind of the same. He spends almost all his money. Mr. Beast is weird in a way where he like will spend a million dollars on one single video and then be proud of it. <laughs> He'll be proud that he sunk a million dollars and did not get it back. He'll be like, yeah, I spent a million dollars on this video and I only made 100K. I'm like, why is that? He's like, I just like making cool one things. V one me at connect four for unban or you're a pussy. Uh, Cobbs underscore underscore one v one me, dude. You want so much attention and things from me, and I have to watch TikToks. That's what you don't understand. I'm glad you saved your speedo stash. Yes, sir. Uh, you got banned. Uh, I'll just unban you. I'll just unban you. We'll call it a day. Easy clap makes my life easier. Toast said people make millions of dollars off of merch. Is that true? I mean, like the point zero zero one percent at the top. Yeah. Probably. Gang, 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 gang. I can tell you straight up. I mean, in a single drop, millions. I think you guys have to understand scale. I will sell like maybe 10,000 orders. 10,000 people will be like, yeah, I'll buy a lot of big thing. Ray sold 50,000. Okay, that, that's what that's what we're dealing with in order of magnitude here. You know, we're not doing bad. Hey, I'm fine with it. I like it. I like my merch. I think my merch is dope. I'm happy with the sales. But let's be real. Ray goes live and she has 800 people live tweeting her stream. <laughs> she has armies behind her. You guys are like, Ludwig, you've only streamed 12 hours this week. I don't care about you. Go live more for Rear W, you piece of shit. And I'm like, all right, yeah, cool. Sounds good. I will. And that's our relationship. That's how we do it. So, but I don't know. If you guys can probably like just look it up yourself, you could figure all this out. If you find what they use as blanks, which isn't always possible, but like, you know, you can like you use things like Printful, like a, like a Gildan blank t shirt. Is like twelve dollars or something. Let me maybe thirteen or fourteen when you print on it. People sell shirts for like twenty five dollars, so they'll make like at least ten dollars for just a shirt, maybe more. So if you're making ten dollars a shirt, you sell fifty thousand shirts. It's five hundred k, and that's only if you make ten dollars. Some people make twenty dollars an item. Some people might make thirty dollars an item. Depends. Soda does barely profit off merch. That is true. But I think Soda's also just happy to stay as much money as he has in his bank and then just play video games all day. Bup, 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 bup. All right, let's get to TikToks. Soda's the lowest price the store allows him in his discount code and still makes 10K a month. Yeah, because they probably make him do like a $1 margin or 50 cent margin. He probably sells like 20,000 units. You guys ready for TikTok time? Yeah, I did see Crab Game. I was supposed to play the game uh, today with t Disguised Toast, but I didn't. Uh, because I hurt my ankle and wanted to record that video. Alright, let's get a good TikTok time, time song. TikTok time song. TikTok time. Okay, 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 okay. TikTok time, everybody! 30 minutes of watching memes, laughing and fake laughing at a few of them, and farming a YouTube video. Let's go! It's my favorite time of the week! Last time? Here's the fucked up thing, chat, alright? Here's, here's what's fucked up about the life I'm leading. I did a TikTok time where all I did was watch TikToks, unusual memes. All right, here it is. Look at this. Ludwig tries not to laugh at unusual memes. That's all I did. I sat here and I went, haha, and then sometimes I didn't. 15 minute video, 574,000 views. Here, I did the same thing, but if I did laugh, I would wax myself. You're my man. 484,000 views. Now, the math is, if I hurt myself, I get less views. So, we're going to do the most wholesome, painless, pain-free, happy, unusual meme react. 
where there is no bodily harm coming to me in any way, shape, or form. We are just watching videos. That is all. We're giving the people what they want, which is videos to watch. You're my mans. Let's go. Everybody ready? Give Cutie a hug every time you laugh. All right. Hey, we're talking now. Mans. Now we're getting spicy with it. Hey, you're my mans. Can we, can we relax for a moment? Jesus Christ. We're trying to watch TikToks, please. All right, let's get to it. Oh. This is not going to go well. <laughs> Damn. That was a six rat. <laughs> Esse bagulho aqui é laranjado, velho. Tinha quase caído. Sai daqui, sai daqui. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Why? You threw my fucking coat! Ah, shit. Got a flower on my cat. Oh, it's, you're gonna break the pipe. Shit, but Did he land it though? He was about to land that shit. shit. The uh, I have the exact same thing in my room. I have these giant wooden beams above me. I don't know if you guys know that. Do you see that? The guy who built those beams said they're pretty sturdy, but if I hang off them, they will break. I'm, I can't do a flip. I'll try to hang off it. I hope they don't break, though. Oh, if they break on my broken ankle. This is a terrible idea. All right, let's do it. It didn't break. Not fat. Hey, what if we just every day go up to that and then hang off of it? And then that way I can't get fat anymore. Didn't even flip off of it. I can't flip. If I got a bunch of mats, I would feel more comfortable. We'll work on it. I saw it bend. It definitely bend and cracked. I don't know if you guys heard that. Do we water the plants? God, no. Not a good plant owner. I wish I was. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, it's like bones or no bones. Ludwig fat or not fat. What the fuck are you looking at? Should I be concerned about that? Okay. Good morning, One, two, three. There's one in there, too. <gasps> there he is! Man, I'm thirsty. Oh. That was a quick decision, kid. Damn. You just let him do that. Ugh. Oh! 
That's like a fucking cartoon. That's Tom and Jerry. That's like Jerry. Uh, bubbles are mine. Little frothing action. Can't froth the fine pillows. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Ready? That was bread? Oh, damn, bro. UK food really does hit different. How did that not hurt your tip? I pissed on the jout. <laughs> oh, dude, that's bold. You get suspended for shit like that. And you filmed it? That's brave. I pissed on the jout. <laughs> you pissed on the jout. Not the jout. <laughs> He's sitting, standing, and laying down all at the same time. All right, watch this. I understood none of that. This is all just dog is funny. And <gasps> Russian. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't see that. Holy shit. That's terrifying. Uh, part of me wishes I was raised not to be scared of spiders. Because there is a certain subsect of human who aren't scared of spiders in any way, shape, or form. They're just knowledgeable about them. But everything in our childhood leads us to fear spiders because of branding and marketing and movies and cinema and cultural. It's a learned fear. We learn to be scared of spiders. If we knew the harm and were not taught to be scared, we would not be scared of the spiders. We don't understand risk with certain spiders. But all this fear is learned. I don't think they're naturally scary. <gasps> what do you even do? Catch the ice like a Mario Party mini game, it would just fall out, and he'd have to go, Oh, fuck. <laughs> For like 10 pounds of ice, too, that'd be so hard. Let's see what's under the hood. Where the fuck? Boy! What the? F what the? F 25. Oh, my God, dude. 
It sucks to get old. Holy shit. Middle-aged people are so physically useless. Most of them. <laughs> he lost to a bird. What? Was that even a bird? It was like a moth. How do you lose to a moth? One. One. <laughs> one. It was a bat? I couldn't even tell a creature. It was so tiny. No. <laughs> there you go. Dude, what are you doing? Huh? Dude, you cannot be up. What are you doing? I fucking shit it. I'm gonna wonder how the hell you even got up there to begin with. I'm a monkey. I'm I fucking shit it. No, don't say Ludwig your golf swing as an excuse for not having physical abilities. Because golfing is an excuse for boomers to be old, fat, and bad at physical activities. Because they can still be good at golf. It's a cover. It's a cover for their physical shortcomings. They pretend that the only physical attribute that matters is a swing. Oh yeah, Grandpa, that's really going to fucking help you. And then when a bat comes up, you can't even swat it out of the air. I'm not saying you can't have fun playing golf. I'm just saying that's not a barometer of physical skill in any way, shape, or form. You know what it is? Climbing rocks. That's right, bouldering. <laughs> You're 55 years old and you can boulder up a mountain? You're a Chad, and that's a fact. I actually, when I went bouldering the other day, when I almost broke my ankle, one of the guys that came up to me who was a fan was there with his father. And his father was a better climber than his son. And he was like 55. He had like gray hair. He was ripped, buff. He was like, yo, can I get a pick the son? I was like, fuck no, but I want to pick with your dad. Your dad seems cool as shit. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for the five gifted. Appreciate it. How's my foot? Actually feels money. Feels really good. It was just a really bad sprain. Tossing to 27 months. Alright, let's get to it. <gasps> oh. Damn. He almost recovered well too. And then he slipped. Chad, is it stupid to get a Vespa? I really want to get a Vespa to travel around LA. Because I think it'd be fun to Vespa around. I hate getting in my car and going places. I would love to just Vespa and arrive, but I don't know if it's dangerous. Is, it, is there like some stats? It was so fun Vespaing around Italy. You're going to get clowned on? Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> That's the thing about it. If you care about getting clowned on, you will just live a worse life. I go out of my house wearing shirts that say, I want slime to come in my mouth and then Crocs. In jorts. And I'm okay with this. I have chosen to lead this life. I do not mind. I'm living in my own lane. You know? I'm not Logan Pauling it up. I'm not trying to go out of my way and put camera in people's faces. But I'm just leading my life. I'll hop on a Vespa wearing Crocs and a stupid ass shirt that I got for free. Don't pull a shroud. I guess that's true. He didn't even have a helmet though, right? Or did he? What is she holding? Is that a fish? <gasps> Was she taking a picture of a fish and then she threw her phone back in the water except the fish? <laughs> Dude, that could be a painting. Imagine with like this background, the water, the sunset, and then throwing a phone into the water and holding a fish. Oh, that'd be a sick renaissance painting. That's so dangerous. Play an ocarina time. No way you flip this. Might as well do it again. 
Yeah, that'll be good. Damn! <laughs> this girl's trying to jump her car, and the whole thing is oh, melting! Oh my God. Why are the, the jumper cables are straight up melting? Oh, no. Hold up. Whip out fucking Google on your phone instead of filming it, head ass. My God. You know I'm pissed off? Because <laughs> now like 30 incels are going to pull out this video and be like fucking women, dude. Because one dumb bitch. The other women are smart as fuck. They're getting dragged down. The jumper cables are straight up melting. Oh, that's Hold so up. bad. <laughs> Yeah, the cable's the worst the part. Car, <laughs> and the whole thing is melting! Oh, God. Why are the, the jumper cables are Yeah, the battery's down. fine. The Hold cable's up. what you should worry about. Every streamer's background? <laughs> you two are up there, then... Then, then, then who's, in the, who's in the casket? Oh, Oh shit! Miss Kipper C Rob! <laughs> Just sea otter? Oh, he likes it! Oh, that's gonna be a fire. Around a long time. Um, and. As a result, it does take quite a long time to make change, even with the best one in the world. <laughs> no fucking way that happened. All right, one more video, let's go! Deep throating the sugar bag. Let's do it. Damn me. The body is round. This man's too stupid. Close enough. Oh, my nuggets. <laughs> Damn, babe. <laughs> okay. Good one. Actual good one. Oh. <laughs> We're told to stay off roadways unless absolutely, positively necessary. I wanted donuts. But they still keep. <laughs> Dude, Dude uh, Americans are the hardest people to wrangle, to do anything. You could say, hey, if you go outside, you will literally die five years sooner. And they'll be like, shmish mop. I really want a T bell. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I actually just wanted to drive around because I prefer singing in the car, so I wanted to drive around for a while, so that's why I did it. Shmeech mop. I want a donut. What? But they still came. Call our TikTok going nuts for that video. Losing their fucking minds.
He blew that. Falling from the ceiling and the words that come after it will be the funniest thing you ever say in your life. Anything you say is funnier when you fall from a ceiling. <laughs> You ready? He looks like he's running so slow. Oh shit. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, what the fuck happened to me? All right. Hold up. Hold up. I'll bring the camera back if everyone subscribes on YouTube right now. <laughs> no. So, 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 what, 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 what kind of, what, 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 shit, sorry, 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 sorry. What, 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 what kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of, <laughs> okay you know that's an exaggerated version but there's a lot of people who are probably doing their lat pull downs incorrectly okay lat pull down form you don't want too much you know want a pretty static pull down but th hey don't we all cheat a little bit on lat pull downs come on fellas fellas aren't we cheating a little bit on lap pull downs you know just a wee bit <laughs> what the fuck is simply doing in the club <laughs> damn Alright, man. Alright, well, let's go left. Oh. What? Well, he went this way, and then he went that way, and then he went this way, and then I go this way, and then I go that way. Oh Wait, god! What? Oh my god! What? Wait, did it happen? Did you just chuck the glass? I'm dead. Hey, that's a good ad for water pressure. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was fucked up to laugh at. <laughs> One more time, though. Like, how early? When can you pick me up from my house? You fucking cocksucker! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your dash? <laughs> Damn. That's you guys watching Twitch streams. Post it up with your snackies. Oh, Hassan's offline. I'll watch Ludwig. Okay. That's kind of fucked up. That's fucked up. I feel good. I feel. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sick. I've never seen that edit before. Are they just playing badminton? <laughs> Alright, bro. Him to work. Say you getting real sick of my attitude thinking back to the day you said bam in love with you we used to go through all the day what? you said bam in love with you we used to go through all the oh I... <laughs> no, I want mama. so you know my 
my name is Norfi. What are those? These are clothes. What are those? These are clothes. <laughs> She's up there going, <laughs> bruh, walkie slush. What are those? <laughs> Kim K's crying. <laughs> She's so talented. Man. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I said it sound like gunshot, gunshot. Grrr, pop, pop, pop. We ain't doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> He's gonna whack that pigeon. I can't look. I just made the holy mackerel of fucking nachos. Don't spill it. On the first level, it's cheddar. On the second level. It's just so sad, dude. Those nachos looked so money. Nothing will replace those nachos. Garfield, are you good? Are you good, bro? All right, that same video, but then it's Chris Pratt, and he says, yeah. Are you good, bro? And then Prezzo tweets it out with the caption, I'm super gay. At least 5k likes. I didn't even notice the fucking cat you just stepped on. No. Guys, is my cat depressed? Lately, Ludwig Jr. has been sitting at the top of his cat tree every day for like most of the day. But there's been a lot of people over, so I think the cat's just kind of stressed out and waiting for the people to pee pee poof. And then we'll go back to normal. Oh, my girlfriend's super depressed. Yeah. No, that's for... You know, we're working on that, though, day by day. <laughs> Needs a friend. Dude, I'm not getting a second cat. Stop trying to get me to send a, get a second cat, man. I don't want a second cat because then it's going to be the cute cat. And everyone's going to like the cat. And I want the cat to love me more than anyone else. All right? It's greedy, but that's how I want it. Uh, all right, chat, let's. I wanted to make actually an intro for TikTok time. Hold up, I had a genius idea. And by genius idea. I mean, steal something from a YouTube comment. All right, hold up. I'm doing it. All it requires is a bit of 21 pilots.
We're gonna do this. Okay, so you remember that video? This video? Ronald Reagan, what? Former President Ronald Reagan died of pneumonia this afternoon at his home in California. Boys! Okay, that, but instead of Ronald Reagan, it's Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. You know, because the Reagan one's all right. Hey, topical. Fuck Reagan. All right. That's great. That's fine. But it's a little bit long. And I think the Clinton one goes harder. All right. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, this is the remix. Okay, and then we need Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relationship with that woman. What a fucking dick, too. He also said that woman. <laughs> like, he's seen her, like, once around the Oval Office. That bitch? Pfft, no shot. I have sexual relations with that woman. That one? Pfft, no. Others, yeah. Others, actually, a lot of other women. And a lot of... A lot of infidelity. But that woman knew. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh. Many women's. Okay, I think I got it. Now we just have to make it. Okay, boom. Here it is. Okay, I think that's our cut point. Throw a couple more cuts in there. Boom, bing. It probably doesn't need to be this long, but we'll just chop it all off. DMCA. Eh, that's a remix, but I'll also take the hit. Wish we could turn back time. I did not. Okay, wait, right here. I did not. Oh, we can switch the. The I was stressed out to I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Mm, now we're talking. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. These. Okay. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying. I did not have. It's a little off timing. It's a little off. Time. It's a little off. It's a little off. I did not. Oh, yeah, 10% speed it. Actually, a good point. We could probably pop it 120. I did not. <laughs> Fucking Alvin cheating a little bit. I did not have sexual relations. <laughs> Wait, what if we get nuts? I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Maintain pitch, you weirdo. Okay, wait, hold up. You're saying words I don't know how to do this. Uh, easy audio clip. Boom. Here it is. Pitch. I know how to do that. In the same panel. Oh. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I think a classy 130. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And then maybe, maybe it's better like this. OK, 
Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. What did they cut in the OG? What did they cut in the OG? Okay, don't boo me. I'm working my best here. I, you know, it's not, it's not the bad. We're getting there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Check this. When I was stressed out. That's where it is. Right here, I think. Bottom of this. And then we drop the eye from Bill. I, I did. And then it's the eye jumping into it. Wait for it. Now we're talking. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying us I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Boy! I think we can skip the stress out. We're just about there. We need that right there. Boom. Boom. Did not have sexual relations with that woman. Not. I think it'll sound weird if you cut Clinton. Have not have did not have did not have sexual relations with that woman. And maybe drop the speed up as a whole. All right, I'm good. Oh, and then you overlay it. Hold up, music producer stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Play that underneath. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Nice. All right, I think we're there. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Boys, what is up? Holy shit, it blew up my camera. Yeah, my beats go a little too hard. <laughs> like, they kind of, they'll fry your system. That shit kind of freaky, not gonna lie. Uh, all right, boys. Okay, I want to show you guys a TikTok, but I want to give you guys the context for the TikTok before I show you the TikTok. Does that make sense? Zane told me your Fall Guys event paid better than SWT. Yeah, of course it did, man. It's a smash event. What do you think? I don't know how many, this is, a, it's a little bit of old news, but I don't know how many of you guys actually saw it, uh, cause it wasn't that big of a thread, but there's this guy on Twitter who please do not attack. All right. Off rip. Cause he's already been attacked by every single group in the world. And we, look, we don't care. We, hey, we're just a l bunch of people that like to have lol W's and joke around. Uh, but this guy, Conrad Golden made a thread that I liked so I could save. All right, primarily, and you know, but also, you know, making really good points out here. That said, I was thinking about why so many radical left participate in quote unquote speed running. The reason is the left's lack of worth that work ethic. Go fast rather than do it right. And in a Petersonian sense, to elevate alternative sexual archetypes in the marketplace, fastest Mario, one of 14. And the thing is, the thing is, this is a fucking really funny tweet. If there's no other follow-up and you just kind of send the tweet and you do one of 14 and then nothing, you know what I mean? 
and it's like a joke and you're like one of 14 in this essay i will go on but but the thing is conrad did go on Con conrad went on and 14 didn't cut it by the way we actually we, we bumped that up to 15 got a little bit lengthier than the original draft which is crazy fucking crazy i haven't read through it all because i keep getting bored halfway through because i don't really follow what they're trying to say all right i am i am uh, i'm pretty sure it's not bait as well i mean it could be bait their profile picture does ooze bait. It's uh, protecting what is mine. PhD student in philosophy and history. True classical liberal. Center left. Pro beauty, pro freedom, anti bullying, anti feminism. SJW. This it, look. I don't know. I'm gonna go on a limb and just say it's a, just a philosophy student. That's just my gut. You know. Those who can't do. Those who can't get a philosophy degree, and then tweet, okay? Minimum wage salaries. That's how it goes in society, okay? But anyway, it follows up. It could be bait. Look, I'm down for it to be bait. I'm down for it to be really good bait because it is really good bait. Because it's thought out. It falls up. Obviously, there are exceptions to this. And people more in the center or right also speed run. Okay, that's true. A few alt-right speeders out there. Uh, however, they are more than sufficient to prove the rule rather than contrast it. Consider how woke GDQ has been almost since the very beginning. Your eyes will start to open. Okay. All right. The thing is, I feel like if it's bait, these are points that people have made. People are upset at GDQ wokeness. That's been a topic before. It goes on, though. Returning to the topic of work ethic, a speedrunner may well spend hours a day at their craft, but this is ultimately a meaningless exercise since they will ultimately accomplish exactly what is which is done in less collective time by a casual player. <laughs> which I do think is a funny argument. If the goal is to beat the game in as short of a time as possible, casual gamers spend less time playing Mario than simply does. Simply will spend more time playing Mario at the end. Basically implying that the goal is to have played the game as low as possible, not beat the game as quickly as possible. Technically, we are all faster speedrunners than simply because we have played the game less than him. That's what he's saying. <laughs> I'm actually kind of a better speedrunner than simply because I didn't play as much as him. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, returning to the topic of work ethic, a speedrun. I like how it's quoted every time. Um... Yeah, that's what they said. Uh, this is thus a waste of... First of all, so annoying. This is thus... I'm an English major. I'm lost in this sentence. This is thus a waste of effort on behalf of the speedrunner. Put more simply... Love that guy. They are spending their work effort on something that someone else has already done and done in a way deemed correct by the creator of the artwork. Why do they do this? Uh, following, you know, okay, that's, that's the classic. You are breaking the game. You are cheating. It does get boring, but I promise you the sixth bullet is funny. The answer is quite obvious. You think about it. The goal is the illusion of speed and the desire subconscious to promote radical leftist borderline communist ideals of how easy work is. Everyone always says that speed runs look easy. That is part of the aesthetic. I don't think that's something everyone always says. No one has ever looked at a clip of Trackmania speedrunning. Right now, a revolution is taking place in the No one looks at this and thinks to themselves game. easy. For the last 13 years, players have battled to hold the world records on the tracks in Trackmania Nation. Show me the clips. Runs driven with this tool are of course not permitted on the leaderboards. These runs are known as tool assisted speedruns or TAS for short. The goal of tool assisted speedruns is to figure out what a theoretically perfect run of a game looks like. And in Trackmania Nations Forever, these runs look- This is a horrible example. Why? I feel like TAS is literally the goal of what humans try to accomplish in the game sometimes. Absolutely ridiculous. And they sometimes can. It kind of unlocks new barriers in um, speedrunning. Like 2010 TAS videos are what 2020 runners do. I mean, Nobody looking at this thinking easy. <laughs> yeah, I could probably do that one though. Yeah, that is kind of the Atrioc. They do say.
anyway, uh, that's 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 you know, okay, everyone, sure, everybody says speed run looks easy, and then this is the the kicker. Think about the phrase "fully automated luxury communism" in the context of speed running. I strongly suspect that things will start to click in your mind. I'm lost at fully automated luxury communism, and then throwing speed running into that sounds like we're playing Mad Libs. Is, is anybody out there clicking? This is not immediately clicking for me. What happens to the individual in this individual accomplishment in speedrunning is simply waiting for another person to steal your techniques in order to defeat you. Where is something like intellectual property or patent in this necessarily communitarian process? What? What is... Would it? Can we start having patents on speedrun techs? I'm kind of with this guy. Everybody's biting Clint's womps, and I'm sick of it. All right? You want to get BLJ'd up the stairs? Figure out your own way to do it, liberals. I'm sorry. You can lift yourself up by your bootstraps rather than my A-clicks, pussies. Makes a lot of sense. They always say industries thrive when we have super strict copyright and patent laws. That's when we're at our finest. And I, and I do like how right now, for sure, no companies steal from other companies. It's just not a thing they do. Oh, fuck. Whoops. My bad. Oh, shit. They don't do that. Okay? Everybody does their own thing. They stay in their own warehouse. There's no thievery, no larceny. We follow patent law strictly. Just ask Steve Jobs. <laughs> now, as to the sexual archetype model in speedrunning generally, if you have any passing familiarity with Jordan Peterson's broader... Bro, I'm French, and this got me fucked up. Oeuvre. Oeuvre. And of Jungian psychology. You likely already know where I'm going with this. Okay, chat. So we know. We know where he's going with the Jungian Jordan Peterson oeuvre psychology. But we'll, hey, we'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll read it through. Keep his passage from maps of meaning in mind. I hope I forget this quickly. The archetypal son continually reconstructs to find territory as a consequence of the assimilation of the unknown as a consequence of incestuous, that is sexual, read creative, union with the great mother. Okay, now I'm lost. Okay, all right. Trying again, trying again. Hold up, this hurts my brain. Can Hassan explain this to me? In other words, there's a connection between sexuality and creativity that we see throughout time. Right. In the sexual marketplace, which archetypes are simultaneously deemed the most creative and value the highest? The answer is entrepreneurs like Elon Musk. Did he just call Elon Musk a pussy god? Is that what I'm reading? In three tweets instead of one? Did he just say Elon Musk gets a lot of pussy? Because that's what I think I'm reading. In the most conflated 1800s grammatical way, Elon Musk gets hella pussy. Which, okay, true. And But he's saying it's because of his creativity, and I disagree. Because Hassan gets hella pussy, and all he does is watch other people's content and then spout the same things that he read on Dig the day before. I think he gets pussy because he's 6'4 and built like a U-Haul. That's just my take. That's just my take. I could be wrong about these things. But I am assuming that this is the case. <laughs> I don't think at the club, girls are going, man, he's so creative. Unless they're looking at what he wore that day, in which case he's the only human to have ever worn that outfit. Definitely creative with those outfits. I'll give him that. All right? Nobody copying that. Because most of them have eyes. <laughs> don't send this to Hassan. Don't send it to Sonora. I'm going to have to put him in a goddamn thumbnail. 
Uh, crab game it up. Uh, I don't think I got time to crab game, boys. They're aiming to make a new sexual archetype based on speed. All right, Cutie can tell you more about that. Rather than doing things right and refuse ownership of what few innovations they can provide to their own scene, denying creativity within their own sexual archetype. This is necessarily leftist. All right, so speedrunners fuck like libs. True. <laughs> the obvious protest to this would be the glitchless 100% run, which in many ways does aim to play the game as intended, but seems to simply add the element of speed to the equation. All right, so 100% runners. So, okay, he's saying that most any percent runners uh, come too quickly, but ZFG is an example of a sex god like Elon Musk, but the objection is meaningless when one considers how long a game is intended to be played in net by the creators even when under 100% conditions, there is still time and effort wasted. So ZFG's runs are too long. He can't be a sex god. Anyway, by now, I'm sure that I have bothered a number of you and rustled quite a few of your feathers. I'm not saying that speedrunning is bad, but rather thinking about the topic of philosophy and uh, other dangerous elements. That is all. I don't know. It feels like this was 15 tweets to say that I want to fuck like Elon Musk. Am I off base? It feels like this guy is just really horny for Elon Musk and really jealous about how much pussy Elon Musk gets. And he's just chalking it up to how creative Elon Musk is. And then in the same sentence, because he probably isn't getting that much pussy, is dunking on speedrunners for not getting pussy. Let me tell you, speedrunners get pussy. The orgies at GDQ? <sighs> Would take down the internet. All right. Hey, you've heard some rumors here and there. Woof. They go a little nuts. Go to Carl's stream. He better be listening to my Christmas album, Full Power. I like that. I like Nickelback. I was going for some Nickelback. Oh, like. Imagine Dragons. Go on. Okay, so this is like normal chord. Yep. And this could be like different chord. Beautiful. What's this guy? Where are these guys? That doesn't sound what right. What the James like. <laughs> Can they hear? Can they hear us? Yeah. Fuck Christmas. I hate that shit. Thanksgiving is where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. I was going for like some kind of like like who who's saying that one song? Photograph. What's this guy? What are these guys' names? Fucking Alvin and the Chipmunks talking mad shit. <sighs> All right. Anyway. To cap it all off, right? So this thread alone is really funny because it's basically a, a giant thread about how Elon Musk gets hella pussy. But I did find this TikTok, which wraps it up beautifully. I think it's probably on Twitter or YouTube as well. There's probably a different version of it. You can't catch me. I'm the fastest thing alive. <laughs> I was thinking about why so many in the radical left. Shit, my camera. Not at this time. Yeah, this meme. I love this meme. You can't catch me. I'm the fastest thing alive. <laughs> I was thinking about why so many in the radical left participate in speed running. Uh huh? The reason is the left's lack of work ethic. Why Go fast rather than do it right. And in a Petersonian <laughs> sense... Petersonian? <laughs> ...to elevate alternative <laughs> sexual archetypes in the marketplace. Fastest hedgehog. Shadow, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're a beta male, Sonic. <laughs> so, if it was bait, it did make a great meme. Alright? What up, YouTube? At the end of the day... You That's can't worth it. He was going faster than Sonic. And what does that say about society? Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Damn, bro. Internet is out. Maybe some random got my IP from the games we were playing, but maybe not. Impossible to tell. I don't know what's happening. I'll stream if possible. Sorry for inconvenience. I love you all. Dream. 
XQC doesn't love you. He can't love you. He doesn't know you. He's not your friend. Been saying that. <laughs> I've been saying that. Yo, dream. Whew. And I've been saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I like you dream waiting for someone to hop on the parasocial bandwagon. You know what? I'm I'm full heel, by the way. I'm actually on board with parasocial relationships. I love every single person who right now clicks the subscribe button and hits subscribe free in purple and then drops a Twitch Prime. I love you and I guarantee will show up to your funeral and only your funeral. I'll be there. You will not be able to confirm it, but I will be there. 100%. You subbed 20 minutes ago? Mm, sorry, you are out of the love circle. It's kind of a now thing. Don't really... Show Hassan the thread. Do you think Hassan will lose his mind at the thread? I'll show it to him. Wallet. Who's there? Is that awesome? What do you think? Was that was that correct? I'm still traumatized by that video. Are you still traumatized by it? He saw the LSF comments. He's probably seen it, right? And he read the LSF comments. I've and apparently it. someone was saying, if you if you keep mistreating him like this, you'll lose him. And he's like, that's right. Thank you for the sub, Redox. Appreciate it, brother. Eight months. Nose rack. Thank you for the 13 months. Good old puffer. Thank you for the two months. Not Brit Spears. Thank you for the 10 months. Shorty TKE. What up with it? I'm sub to you on Patreon. My wedding's in March. See you there. Bet. I'm there, baby. Wedding and the funeral. Oh, why does my camera keep dying? I'm going to have to figure out. I think I need a new battery pack. My camera might be overheating or some shit. We'll figure it out for tomorrow. Oh, Z Mills. Thank you. Respect on a plate for the 18 months. All right. What time is it? What time is it? 723. All right. We got a few more minutes together, boys. And then I got to go record the yard. My camera's not bad. It's just like the battery or something. I don't know. It's not the, uh, I isolated the error. So I know it's not. Damn it. <sighs> Jerry of Barry tier three. What the fuck, Jerry? That's crazy shit. That, that's the, I could not think of a quicker way to burn money, but I appreciate it. Jesus Christ. You're sick for that. Not like sick, like cool, like sick, like damn. What's, what are you thinking, Jerry? You got some hair to fix? My hair looks money, man. Saikuno complimented my hair. You can't pull me down right now. Uh, all right, boys. I am going to wrap up stream. I know it's a short stream. But I'm going to do another stream tomorrow. Probably a longer one because I have no uh, – Atriox will be gone. And I won't have to record the yard. So I'll 100% at least go live for a few hours. We got to figure out a day this week to do the game jam. A day this week to do the Mario Party with Clint. A day this week to do Northern Lion 1v1s. And then a day this week to do a bros versus pros. That's my goal. So those four things are all going to happen in this week. Someday between Tuesday and Sunday. We'll figure it out exactly. But it should all be pretty juicy content. Uh, Atriox will not be on the yard, but he will be on this exact stream setup in like 10 minutes doing a marketing Monday, I think, which is pretty cool. If you guys want to check that out. Ninja Todd, thank you, Scott. Tony, Razy, Low, Deck of Cards, Kozakura, thank you, the Tier 3. Jesus Christ, guys, why are you Tier 3 It's so much money a month. Guys, don't do it to yourselves. Uh... Maxwell Casadope. Appreciate the eight months. Jerry A. Barry, thank you again. Thank you for the subs, boys. Appreciate the primers. I know I've been streaming much, uh, but I will stream at least 100 hours in the month of November. And it's because I really want to hang out with you guys and not because the ad rates are juicy as fuck. <laughs> no, that's nothing to do with that. In fact, I like hanging out with you guys. Dark Souls week will happen. I believe the League of Legends scene uh, or season ends November 17th or 7th or something like that. So Cutie will be playing a bunch of League and we'll do Promise Week. 
Promise week will happen. Guaranteed. Don't do the Fauci live meme anymore. It's happening too often. All right, boys. Uh, I'm not going to raid. Uh, maybe I'll just... I mean, Stans is live. Go check him out. Is he is he still live? Uh, I did just upload a new YouTube video. Actually, that's where I want to send you guys on a raid. Stans is go live. Feel free... Or, or is live. Feel free to check him out. Atrock will be live in a bit. You can hold off. Wait for him. Carl's dissing me on a Christmas song. You can do that as well. A uh, bunch of new things, but if there's one thing that I would send you to, it's to go watch Mogul Money. I don't know if this is just my take, but I think Mogul Money is the one thing where the VOD is like a different experience than watching live. I feel like Prezo edits are their own sweet treat. So if you've already seen it live, I honestly think it's a different experience. I watched the entirety of the XQC Soda Poppin' uh, and Sear video, and I was like, damn, was I actually there? Because I don't remember it like this. <laughs> it's way funnier on this edit, I feel like, than I felt like it was live. Uh, so go check it out, boys. I'd appreciate it. I am going to end. Again, Stance is live. Connor's live. Aatrox is going to go live. Feel free to check them all out. I'm going to go record the yard. You guys know about the yard. Tomorrow, new Ludwig story advice video is going to be uploaded. So look forward to that. Also, tomorrow, I think my greatest YouTube video ever will be uploaded. All right, boys, I'm wrapping it up. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you later, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry I haven't streamed so much lately. I promise I still love streaming. I still love hanging out with you guys. That's right, Dream. I said love, motherfucker. And I'll see you all tomorrow.